welcome back to Moonstone Crafts and welcome back to an unboxing. It's time for another unboxing again. And look what I got. Diamond Art Club. And I got the Diamond Art Club box. Uh, from like the five orders I did, I think. Or maybe I had four orders. But I only got the, the box the first time. Like my first ever order. And now I've got it again. The other times I just have the brown, boring box. Um, so that's interesting. In here is a pre-order, a pen, if I'm right, and another one to get the free shipping <laughs> cost covered. So um, that wasn't a pre-order. It was just a normal painting that was in stock that I actually had on my wish list. I'm gonna unbox the pen and the pre-order one today in this video and the other one will be maybe next week or maybe even later. Uh, I will film it but I won't put it up yet. So this is just gonna be one canvas today and the pen of course. So I'm just gonna take a quick look. Um, so I ordered it March 8th 2021. Uh, and it shipped on April the 4th of 2021. Uh, I actually had uh, not received an email this time that it was shipped, um, which was interesting. And there was a uh, tracking info in the... Just a moment. Let me get my trusty thing so we can open it already at least. Um, I had the, what do I say, I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought. What was I saying? Oh, there was a tracking number in my account, so I tracked that, but like, almost a week after it, it still said that it didn't know the tracking number and it was an invalid number. So I contacted Diamond Art Club on their website and they said, oh, we actually, uh, put in the wrong uh, wrong number. This is the correct one and it lead me to my correct tracking order. So they, they replied like in minutes. So that was very good because we're in a different time zone. So that's very nice. Um, so I got the right tracking, which is very nice. Look, there's my packing slip, which isn't too interested. But look at this, there is the pen. Ooh, I'm so excited for that. And as you can see, they're two different sizes. The small one is my pre-order, so I'm gonna get that one out of here. Um, so we can look at it. They're both round drills. Because I haven't tried uh, the squares yet from them. So I wanna wait, first of all, before we get into that. Look at this little pouch. There's a sticker with their number on it, from which one it is. I'm gonna put this out of view so it can focus. There we go. So it says which one it is, but this is so cute. So you can, of course, open it up. This is my first DAC pen. Oh my god, that's gorgeous! That is gorgeous! And this is only my second different pen, because I, of course, have two pens. Uh, which are both from Creative Insel. So this is my first different brand diamond painting pen. This is cute. It's not too heavy. But I know these are easy to break, so I don't want to, you know, do too much with it. So what, uh, there is something else in here, the multi-placers. So what you get with it is um, a seven placer, the thin ones of course, because the DAC has those, and the four placer. So I have plenty of these now. <laughs> I have, I think, two or three left of these seven placers, the thin ones, and I have a lot of these, because you get them with the kits these days. So. 
I think this is in here stuck so you can change it out easy so if you want to change it out you probably have to go for the tip like I did in my uh, other video I showed you how to change this out so if you want to watch that I'll put it in the eye um, on top there but here you can use to put the multiplacers in uh, they don't stay in too easy so I think you have to put a little bit of washi tape around it so they stick in there and stay in there oh now it's good in there so I twist it around it's just to figure out how to do that but that's fun I'm gonna put it back into its thing before I do that put the multi placers with it I don't have to but I feel like that's Nice, and we'll put this back in here. I like that. That's cool. That's cool. So now, ta -da -da -da, the pre order. It's Wishes by Erica de Goober. I haven't had an Erica de Goober yet. Wishes, let me tell you, goes a long way back. Um, it's around and it's a 60 by 42 it says so it's a bit smaller than most kids it's still big but it's great but wishes goes a long time back for me I since the first time I laid eyes on diamond art club I liked two paintings a lot which were piano dream which is my first purchase from them I haven't completed it yet but it is my first ever Dime, Diamond Art Club and I always wanted Wishes now they never were together for pre-order or together for you know to buy at the same time last year when I wanted them so eventually I got more that I liked so I bought Piano Dream of course with um, at peace because they were pre-orders and finally I was able to grab Wishes with the pre-orders pre as well so she's finally here it's been a long time I mean since last year just before summer that I really got into Diamond Art Club and wanted one it's almost been a year I guess <laughs> um, well that's a bit maybe three uh, not a half year but like three quarters of a year it's been since I wanted this kit and it's finally here so that's good so please can I get everything out of here I see something very very nice that I haven't had yet which is there are improved legends because you see here it says start date and end date it didn't do on any of my others it has a very big and nice picture and what's new is these peel off by themselves so you don't have to cut them they were always stickers but now you don't have to cut them in pieces they are pre-cut which is very nice I think that's an improvement they also should be better on not leaving residue behind when your containers so when I get to this one I might just not put them on the washi tape and use them straight away containers to test that theory out so that's the new and improved legends I hadn't had that before the little sticker of course I always had those they're fun the toolkit which is a round toolkit which means they're uh, it contains the pen the the grip the little blue grippy there it is uh, the waxes two plates um, pink pink wax the clear tray with a spout um, a lot of Beckys uh, at least the last couple of times that I got them and there should be a multiplacer in here and the last couple of times it's always been um, the, the tin four placer that I just showed you before with the pen with the actual diamond painting pen that I got from them I don't see it so fast but it could be in between the baggies so the only difference between the round and the square toolkit with Diamond Art Club is uh, that square also has tweezers and the round doesn't 
So, all of that out of the way. Let's see if we can get this opened. And this is the hardest part about Diamond Art Club, to get this off without ripping it. It takes, you know, it takes it to do it very slowly most of the times. And then still it doesn't always work out, but I think I got it. Just take it easy. They just, I don't know what kind of clue they put it on here, but it rips the back very easily if you go too fast. So I'm just taking my time with this one and I did it. I did it. Yay. So there we go. The little back. And it's rolled like this. The drills, as you can see, I hope you can see, a lot of purples, that's cool. And you get a little instruction booklet on how to diamond paint. I'm not gonna need it. So, I will just roll this painting backwards and you'll get my first reaction to it. I'm not looking while I'm doing this because I want my genuine reaction. Oh, I'm excited. This is, like I said, this is one of, the one, that one of the two that I really wanted from the beginning. And it's finally here. Let's see. I need it a bit higher. Can you guys see? Maybe if I put it a bit more here and I'll tilt the camera a bit. So you can see from more up above. And it's still a bit rippled. But oh my god, that looks cute. That looks really cute. Oh, I love all the purples already in this. And it has 35 colors. And this looks like a lot of color blocking. And not a lot of confetti. And I wouldn't have gone for that when I started diamond painting. But with rounds, definitely. I'll take the color blocking. It will go fast. I realized that when I did paint the stars. Uh, also from Diamond Art Club. It has two ABs. One of that is 141, which always is the white AB from Diamond Art Club. So there's definitely a, a white AB in here and I can already check where it is. It's all in the shirt because it's number two. So it's all in this shirt here. Um, let me see. A bit in her eyes, in her earrings. And I think that's most of the white ABs, which is cool. I think that's that's going to be pretty. Um, and one is the 126, which is, I think, a bit of a light purple AB, which is all here in the background. It's also in her shirt. So this shirt is definitely going to be something else. Uh, also in the earring. Um, so I'm checking this out already so that you can see when I show you the colors where it's going to, you know where it's going to be. Um, I see it mostly centered here. I'm not sure about the the other side. I have to skip it over to see. Uh, as you can see, there's ones there. So in the background there's also ones. So there's gonna be a lot of one in this. Uh, but as you can see, there's a lot of color blocking in this background here. Which is cool. So, hold on a minute, just gonna hold you a bit different so I can really give you a close-up of the drill field. There's more ones. Let's go a bit towards her face. Also, I'm so happy that the daylight is back again for longer time, periods of time. In the winter that was hell. I always have this reflection. This is just in broad daylight. I mean... When you're working full time and you really want to open your packages right away and not wait till the weekends, you have to deal with it. Like here's all the twos that I was talking about. So this is all AB, white AB. That's gonna be fun. Oh, this is getting me excited. This will be fast as well. Uh, I was thinking about doing Piano Dream, the other one that I really wanted from the beginning. For the purple along uh, in May, I think it's called different now, but 
it was called the purple one. But now I might reconsider and do this one because this is gonna be quicker. Because there's also another event in May with the Josephine Wall, I think. I think it's still going on. And that's also a square, the one that I have. And Piano Dream is also square, so this could also go for the purple along. I'm, I'm not sure yet, because I really want to do Piano Dream. Um, let's look at the drills. So let's turn it over. Background looks good, nothing weird. You can see these little things, but they're nothing to worry about. Where's the beginning? I do want to show you this this colors. I know I can just skip this, but I I like doing that. So I just don't like putting them back in the back afterwards because I have to remember how they were rolled if I want to put them back in normal. I see a lot of the white AB already. All right, so where does this get up? I can't remember that. Okay, so let's start with the little bags. We'll get to these a little bit later. I'm gonna zoom you guys in so we can you do it from farther away. I guess this always makes a lot of noise. There we go. Maybe I should turn it around. Or can we see it? We can. But with those ones that are not filled. <laughs> there we go. I'm not gonna call all the numbers because I don't want to do the bingo. Not yet. Oh, I would love for someone to do that DMC bingo. Maybe. Please, Ashley, please let us do that during the event. <laughs> we, the Wizard of Oz event. That would be awesome. I don't know how to do it. But it would be great. Oh, there's actually 154 in here. My favorite DMC. Haven't seen that a lot with Diamond Art Club. But I'm happy it's here. Look at all these nice... Pinks. And there's the blues. Oh, there is the first AB. This is the one that has a lot in the background as well. So I'm surprised it's such a small back compared to the other ones that we get later on. But oh, look at the nice shine that you can see now in the natural light. It's amazing. And it's pretty full filled for this size back. So yeah, that's pretty. That's gonna be pretty. Some reds. Ooh, I do have that color in AB as well. In rounds. I might have to add that to this painting. Oh, there's the other AB. That's fast after each other. There was just two colors in between. That's the white one. As I said, that's gonna fill in the whole shirt, some of her eyes and um, her earrings. So. Yeah, pretty. Ooh, there's even 3865 in here as well. That's interesting. So there's a white AB and a 3865. Okay. Um, next up. Hold on a minute, I have to figure out where the cutoff point is. Alright, alright. I think I can remember that. There we go. Of course, more pinks. It's. I think it's more pinks in this than purples. And as I was saying that, there's purple. Ooh, look at those. Oh, there we go. There is actual 820, uh, 8, 823 in here. One of the colors that I always have. I don't know. It's haunting me. I know a lot of people say that about 310 or 939, but I have that with 820 or 823. And 
I do notice that I have a lot of kits also with 208 or 209, I think. So yeah, there we go, 209. Those are just colors that that gravitate towards me. 210 as well. And that's the last one actually. So there's not too many colors in here. It's just really nice. So let me zoom you guys out so we can close it off. And just one more look at this stunning girl. I love her. I like that she's wearing glasses as well. There's not many uh, artworks or paintings with people with glasses. And I'm a girl that wears glasses normally. Um, I don't wear them for a couple of years because I've got lenses, but um, I, I didn't like it being young and wearing glasses because you get a bit of picked on by wearing glasses. So I like getting more artwork with people with glasses in there. I think that's cool. So I want to thank you all for watching. Um, please let me know if you have any pens uh, that I showed you at the beginning, the pen, special pens from Diamond Art Club. Uh, if you have this kit, if you have completed it, uh, if you want to. And stay tuned for the other kit that will be up on the channel soon, hopefully. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!